Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Today we have a special deconstruction. Today we will have a look at the trumpdonald.org. Today's deconstruction was a tip from Peter. Peter, thanks for the tweet. And we'll see how the hair was drawn on the canvas. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Okay, so let's deconstruct the trumpdonald.org. You can do it from any angle. So once you're rotating the mouse, you're moving the trumpet around his head. His eyes also moving in the direction where your mouse is. My favorite by far is from the bottom. <laughs> now let's have a look at the HTML and how it was created. So let's skip the gradient and text and loader and concentrate on the trump itself. So we've got a container trump and inner which makes it all centered and inside of it we've got eyes, body and hair. So let's first have a look at the eyes. Not that it is any beautiful but let's deconstruct how this was created anyway. It is a left eye and there is also reflection. Okay, So there is two containers containing creating the eyes effect and they both have a background image. There is a eye bulb and the reflection so two things creating just the effect of the eye and the body itself has a background image which has two versions of it one has a closed eyes and one has open eyes the last part of the trump container is the hair container which is probably the most important part of the whole deconstruction and there is an idle container which contains the hair in the initial state so there is a background image as well or there is an image not a background image, it's an image tag with a background, with a, why am I still saying background image? It's just an image, okay? There is an angle content can, which contains canvas, okay? So that's where all the animation of the hair happens. So once you click, the hair showing now are rendered on canvas. So what it is on canvas, is it SVG, WebGL, what it is, let's, let's find out. We'll go to the source tab of the developer tools inside of the JS folder and we'll look at the hair JS. We'll open it in a new tab. And what we could see here is couple green sock timelines. So while we're looking at the site, you could also see this GSAP sniffer which detects the GSUB running on the side. So this side is using GreenSock and these few timelines are exactly what makes the hair blow. Okay, so now let's figure out how the images are rendered on the canvas and what are they actually made of. So I could see here the hair image pool, which is an array of, I guess, images of hair. And if we scroll down a little bit, there is this hair IMG pool with some sort of index and the source is set to some ugly name dot png so they are probably png images and if we take this inside of a browser tab and just replace the formulas with something else we should be able to see the image okay so let's firstly oops let's firstly replace the image res variable so let's search for that variable and that is either Safari 08 or Safari 05. So let's copy the Safari 08 and replace that from the hair all the way to here. Okay, so we replace that. So it's, it's a folder hair Safari 08. Now let's replace the second part of it. So angle is another folder. It is actually part of the file name. So let's replace it with 03 and see what happens. Wow, we found the sprite which contains the frames for one of the angles. Okay, so when the trumpet is blowing from the bottom right, this is what's rendered on the canvas. Now let's have a look at the green sock TL blow timeline and see what we are animating here. Okay, so the hair canvas is the canvas HTML element itself and we animating it to X and Y coordinates which are generated by these random numbers. Okay, so if we look at the console, we could just see what sort of numbers we would be getting. So let's first set the same X 
then set the same Y offset and then just console log it. So these are the random numbers generated by JavaScript and then Greensock animates to these values. So if I do it again, we would get a different values. You see this timeline in action when the trumpet is trumping on the Donald Trump. <laughs> And you can see that the canvas has inline styles generated by JavaScript. To sum it up, there is in total 16 angled image sprites with 12 frames in each of them, which is total 192 images, 192 images which needed to be done by a designer. There you have it, Donald Trump and his trumpet deconstructed. Thanks again, Peter, for sending the tweet through. And if you have any deconstruction tips, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed these videos and I'll see you next time. Happy coding.